I'll be upfront in admitting that this was a bad game for me to pick to review to some extent. This isn't because the game is so deeply flawed that I'm unable to discuss it intelligently, but because it's part of a genre that I don't really care for. I've never been a fan of horror movies or games, and while I do own a few movies and games of this genre, I purchased them for dirt cheap in order to expand my collection of movies and PS2 games respectively. As such, I tend to actively avoid this genre and will only dive into it when I feel obligated to do so, or because I want a reminder of why I hate the genre so much. As such, I'll need to divorce myself from my own personal issues with this genre and address the game for what it is. On the story side of things, the game is about a young girl and her adventure through an advanced ship, and her rather minimal actions to survive. Though the real emphasis of the story isn't on the horror aspects, but on learning to accept a cold truth about the world the main character now lives in. Of course, if I actually tried to discuss any of the details, I'd ruin the game, because there isn't much story to be had in this title. The game can easily be beaten under 45 minutes. As such, I can't discuss any of the major plot points without giving too much away. On the other hand, I do have a few criticisms about the writing. On the minor side, I caught a spelling error too that wasn't intentional. The main character being a young grade schooler sometimes stutters and struggles with big words, but her older brother at one point tells her to get studying instead of studying. I'm pretty sure I spotted another error too, but that one stood out to me the most since I don't think the main character is physically capable of being a stud. Though my main issue with the writing is the use of Japanese honorifics. The decision to include these short titles depicting respect is a very double-edged sword in my opinion. On one hand, it allows the game to achieve a deeper meaning with less dialogue. On the other hand, not everyone is familiar with the various usages of these terms of respect and may take them out of the intended context and misinterpret the author's intent, or fail to catch it entirely. As I stated previously, this title is a horror game, and it largely relies on psychological horror to achieve its goals. Though, to be fair, it's not that scary in my opinion. This is largely because most of the enemies don't actively pursue you. As such, the developer relies on scary noises and blood spatters to induce a sense of fear. Well, that and a jump scare, too. There isn't a lot going for this game in terms of gameplay. There aren't battles to win or puzzles to solve. For the most part, you simply walk from point A to point B while avoiding mostly stationary enemies. There are a few areas where you need to search for hidden items, but most of them are in rooms that aren't particularly dangerous. Though I wouldn't mind the flashlight offering a superior amount of area coverage, since it is possible to walk into an enemy you didn't see, and in a few areas the flashlight barely works at all. In terms of mapping, the game appears to be decent based on the few areas I could get a good look at, though giving an overall assessment is rather difficult due to how dark many of the maps are in order to invoke a sense of fear of the unknown. I do have to file a complaint though about the fact that a few of the graphical files were missing. This actually led to a few scenes of odd dialogue where the main character was discussing non-existent sprites since I had copied and renamed a file to fill the place of the missing one after the game had crashed due to an inability to call forward the proper resource. The game does have an appropriate soundtrack to add to the ominous atmosphere, but at the same time the inclusion of shattering glass and the sounds of nearby enemies where there are none tends to hinder the game more than it helps, since after a while you begin to feel relatively safe and secure even if it sounds like an enemy is huskily breathing down the back of your neck. In the end, this title is a decent little horror adventure game if you're looking for something short and easy to pass the time with. It won't really test your skills, but at the same time it does have an endearing main character, and knows what it wants to be. As such, I'd recommend this game to fans of psychological horror, and even if you don't care for the genre, you might find this game enjoyable anyway.